Now we have to take uh, we have to differentiate ln x square plus y square root over tan inverse y by x. If we differentiate this, don't then don't do directly. But first there is a property of ln. This implies first look at what is this? It is x square plus y square whole to the power half. Then it is tan inverse y by x. First keep it outside. 1 by 2 ln x square plus y square is equal to tan inverse y by x. Differentiate both sides. Differentiate both sides. What will happen? With respect to x. This becomes 1 by 2 d by dx ln x square plus y square is equal to d by dx of tan inverse y by x. Now it is what? 1 by 2 into d by dx of ln this. 1 by this x square plus y square into d by dx. Make a bracket here. x square plus y square is equal to what is d by dx of tan inverse y by x? It is 1 by 1 plus y square by x square into d by dx of y by x. Then, then what will happen? Then it is 1 by 2 into 1 by x square plus y square. And uh, put a bracket here. What is the derivative of x square? It is 2x. But d by dx of y square, it is 2y. And you have to write here dy by dx. Here x, x, so 2x. Here x, y, so 2y into dy by dx. And don't take LCM here. Multiply just x square in numerator and denominator. It becomes x square plus y square. No mark will reduce like this. If you multiply x square in numerator and denominator, then this is what? Into u by v. V derivative of u minus u. And derivative of x is what? 1 by what? x square. Now cancel of many things. And if we multiply half, then it becomes x plus y dy by dx is equal to x dy by dx minus y. Then you can do it by what? Taking dy by dx common, it becomes y minus x. This part and this part and this coming to this side into dy by dx is equal to minus x minus y. Now what is dy by dx? Now dy by dx is this implies dy by dx is equal to minus this is what? x plus y by what is this? y minus x when you divide take common x x minus y Okay, it becomes what? x plus y by x minus y. Okay, take the screenshot of the problems number 9 to 11. Now I am solving y to the power x is equal to x to the power sine y. As you know, this is variable to the power variable and variable to the power variable. So we have to... Uh, take logarithm to both sides solution you have to write an exam taking ln to both sides taking logarithm to both sides I am doing directly ln x to the power sin y this implies x ln y is equal to sin y ln x look at here 1 x y 1 x y then differentiate both sides with respect to x it becomes what i am directly applying product rule but you have to write d by dx 
x d by d x of l n y. I am directly doing plus uh, l n y into d by d x of x is what d by d x of x is equal to sine y into d by d x of l n x plus l n x into d by d x of sine y and this is what this is x and u not d by d x of l n y is what 1 by y d y by d x plus l n y d by d x of x is what 1 it is equal to sin y into d by d x of l n x is what 1 by x plus l n x what is d by d x of sin y d by dx of sin y, it is cos y into dy by dx. Now this is dy by dx and this is your dy by dx. So take common x by y minus ln x cos y ln x cos y into what? dy by dx is equal to sin y by x sin y by x minus what minus ln y now what is dy by dx look at here again so taking lcm x minus y ln x cos y ln x cos y by what by y into dy by dx Write everything very clearly in the exam. It is what? Sin y minus. If we take LCM x, it becomes x ln y. Keeping everything in proper manner, it will happen dy by dx. Take this y to this place, this x here, then sin y minus x ln y by what? x minus y ln x into cos y. Okay? Number 10. Look at that. Uh, how I am doing this? I am putting it star mark because it is something different style. And it is very easy for you for the exam. I will do it only in three to four lines. You divide sin x plus y by cos x plus y as what? Y. So tan x plus y is what? Y. What is x plus y? It is tan inverse y. Okay, I am not teaching you the derivative of the inverse trigonometric functions. First, I will teach you inverse trigonometric function in a very interesting manner. Then after telling, then after doing the problems of the inverse trigonometric functions, I will go for the differentiation of the inverse trigonometric function so that it will be very easy for you. So that's why I am leaving uh, the chapters of derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. But there is a slight requirement of it. You know already tan of anything is y then this thing is equal to tan inverse y. And here look at here. Many students uh, differentiate here it here with respect to x. Very important. Every student doing this problem by differentiating with respect to x. But here two y's are there. So I am writing differentiate with respect to what? y. As both y. Are. This implies this becomes dx by dy plus d by dy of y. This is d by dy of y. And this is d by dy 
of tan inverse y. Actually, with respect to y, this is the step. You remember, I am doing it directly. What happens to it? It is dx by dy plus what? 1. It is 1 by 1 plus y square. Then, look at here. What is dx by dy? dx by dy. It is 1 by 1 plus y square minus 1. So it becomes what? 1 plus y square taking LCM. 1 minus 1 minus y square. So cancel. So dx by dy is what? Is equal minus y square by 1 plus y square. Then, then remember, dy by dx, when you multiply dy by dx and dx by dy, it becomes 1. And this dy by dx is equal to 1 by dx by dy. And the result is what? And the result is minus, minus 1 plus y square by y square. 1 plus y square by y square. Now, there is also another problem like this. 1 minus x to the power 6 to 1 plus 1 minus y to the power 6 is equal to k into x cube minus y cube. Sometimes problem will come in your exam. 1 minus x to the power 8. 1 minus y to the power 8 root over root over. It is x fourth y fourth. So similar problems, how you will solve it? Put solution. Mind it, here x fourth is a variable. So I am putting x square is equal to cos theta. So here theta is variable. And y square is equal to again cos phi. This implies theta is equal to cos inverse x square and your phi is cos inverse what? y square. And this becomes 1 minus, mind it, it is x fourth, so x square plus square, so it becomes cos square theta root of it, plus 1 minus cos square phi root of it, is equal to k x square, x square means what? Cos theta minus y square means what? Cos phi. This becomes 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta and its root over is sin theta plus 1 minus cos square phi is sin square phi and its root over is sin phi is equal to k cos theta minus cos phi. Now you know the formula of sin c plus sin d to sin c plus d by 2 theta plus phi by 2 into cos theta minus phi by 2 is equal to k into the formula of cos c minus cos d is what? Minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2. So I am uh, doing here what? This is one box, this is one box, this is a box, this is a box and I am doing this. Now 2, 2 is cancelled. Sin theta plus phi by 2. Here sin theta plus phi by 2. Here also sin theta plus phi by 2. Here cos theta minus phi by 2. Here sin theta minus phi by 2. So I am dividing it. It becomes cot cos theta minus phi by 2 by sin theta minus phi by 2. It is cot theta minus phi by 2 is equal to minus k. It is minus k. Look at here, minus k. So, what is theta minus phi by 2? Is equal to cot inverse minus k. 
What is theta minus phi? It is a two cot inverse minus k. Then what is k? K is x y are variable. K is constant. H k is constant. So cot inverse k is also constant. Now differentiate both sides with respect to x. It becomes what? Differentiate both sides. Differentiate both sides with respect to x d by d x of theta minus d phi by d x is what? With respect to x it becomes what? Zero. This implies d theta by d x is equal to d phi by d x. Now, now look at that. That is d by dx of what? Theta. What is your theta? It is cos inverse x square. And d by dx of phi. What is phi? It is cos inverse what? Y square. Now d by dx of cos inverse x square. Tell me what is the formula? It is minus 1 by 1 minus x fourth root of r. Because cos inverse box, derivative is what? Minus 1 by 1 minus box square into d by dx of what? x square is equal to minus 1 by 1 minus y fourth root of what? Into d by dx of what? y square. And you know it is, the formula is what? Now, d by derivative d by dx of x square it is d by dx of y square that becomes it becomes what 2x so the result is minus 2x by 1 minus x4 is equal to minus its derivative is what 2y 1 minus y4 into as it is x as it is y is here so it becomes what? dy by dx. Now cancelling both sides, cancelling to this becomes what? dy by dx is equal to x into this x 1 minus y fourth by y into y into what? 1 minus x fourth. Okay. Nice. Uh, next video, I will teach you on the differentiation of uh, uh, parametric functions.